A note on Hail Caesar. A comedy from the Cohen brothers, uh, but alas, not uh, one of the uh, magnificent uh, motion pictures. Uh, they have behind them uh, and they given audiences who should be and are grateful to them. Uh, the big Lebowski, Oh Brother, Where Art Thou? Burn After Reading would, would be better than this one. Uh, Fargo, of course. And no Country for Old Men. True Grit. Well, that's not a comedy, it's a western with elements of comedy. But all uh, better films than this one, which I was thinking has a problem with the acting, uh, really. Uh, I'm about to finish uh, Who the Hell is in It uh, by Peter Bogdanovich. And early on, in fact, in the first few pages, we learn the um, opinion of Orson Welles that acting, actors make or break a film. And indeed, it might be the case here. Even if uh, the actor in the leading role, George Brolin, George Brolin, I think, is, is, is very good. He's, he's doing his uh, job almost perfectly. But some of the others, I'm thinking um, Scarlett Johansson, a, 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 an actress that I appreciate, I like generally. I think she's over the top here. The intentions are good, but then hell is played with good intentions, Shakespeare. Um, and the result is, um, um, I think, irritating. There's also Tilda Swinton, uh, who's, who's, who's portraying two sisters, uh, twin sisters, both uh, journalists, hating each other. Uh, I guess that means they're not identical twins. Identical twins have been studied by medicine, psychology, and they tend to share um, genes. Uh, and even if they brought up in separate families, uh, it turns out that they dress l like each other and they have the same favorite colors, foods, and so on. So uh, uh, here it's a, a, a question of uh, opposites, really. Thora and Thessaly Becker. They both uh, threaten this executive, Eddie Mannix, portrayed by George Brolin, with um, articles which will uh, affect the f the studio, the films, and so on. Uh, but um, I, I, I thought it's excessive. Maybe the directors, the Cohen brothers, uh, Ethan and Joel, made a mistake by asking the actors to overplay the hand so that it would be ridiculous, the result would be ridiculous and therefore funny. I, I don't know, maybe they are, it's just an opinion. It didn't work for me. And maybe there are though some scenes which I like. Uh, for instance, they're, they're preparing a religious themed f movie, and um, so the executive Eddie Mannix is talking with four religious uh, spiritual leaders: um, a Catholic, uh, a Jewish man, a rabbi, I guess, um, and um, an Orthodox. Uh, Eastern Orthodox uh, leader. The fourth, I think, was a Baptist or something. It's another denomination, but I, 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 if I knew it, I, I forgot which. Anyway, they have um, arguments <laughs> and trade insults. Uh, uh, what was the year? 1053. Uh, makes one think of the big separation between at that point, the two major religions, uh, well, no, I'm, I'm, I'm wrong, the two major religions of this part of the world of the West, because then Buddhists were there for a long time, Confucianism and so on. 
uh, but in, in, in this part of the world, the, uh, that was a big uh, breakup between the Western, today Catholic religion, which itself split, of course, into uh, various denominations, um, Luther, Prote Protestantism, and so on. Uh, but then, between the Western Catholic Church and the Eastern Orthodox uh, uh, churches, which are now, again, based on national churches, Romanian, Orthodox, Russian, Greek, uh, Eastern, Greek Orthodox, and so on. But it was, it was funny. Uh, what do you mean the Son of God, says the, the Jewish leader? Uh, he has a son, God has a son. Why not a dog? I thought that was funny. And it's, it's true. Uh, I'm a bit outside and maybe I don't have a... I'm not biased. I don't feel any reproach, uh, hatred, uh, um, inclination to defend my religion. Since I'm outside, I'm, a, I'm not religious, actually. At this point, maybe, inshallah, God will... Uh, will help me find a way, proper way. Um, and um, so the, 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 this exchange uh, was, um, was interesting. Uh, Scarlett Johansson, as I said, she's, she's a star of this uh, age of, of lavish productions. They have, uh, that was again interesting, uh, water dances, uh, water ballet, Uh, it was interesting to see uh, Johansson. Johansson is a, is a diva, a, a, a drama queen, and um, she has an immoral, for the period, uh, probably active sexual life. Uh, and uh, when the question of a baby comes up, uh, she says, "This one is the, the father," I think. So. Uh, She's uh, really sleeping around. She doesn't know. And part of the job of, the, of Eddie Mannix, of a studio executive, was to defend the studio, of course. And the actresses. Some uh, some say that this is a regrettable side of the golden age of cinema because the studios took care of the star. Uh, Jimmy Stewart was was um, defensive and, and talked kindly about the studios. Uh, in that it's a, they, he felt protected, they took care of a star, offering him jobs, uh, even when older, as opposed to now where they're independent and they have to find uh, work. If there are parts coming, if not, they just go into oblivion, uh, like in Sunset Boulevard, I just noted on that. Uh, Norma Desmond. Um, and, um, of course, the dark side is that uh, the, the studios abused their power back then. And uh, actors and actresses lacked independence.